Welcome to Sylvia Stingray. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sylvia, your Yuri Manwa Translator. Hey guys, good afternoon. Let me present you the new chapter of Perfect Heroine Wants to Possess Me, Chapter 88, Part 1. So here it is, let's read the story. Back to Ji Xiao. When she came in, she already see Jin Nanfeng and Wei Xing Yu. Jin Nanfeng is approaching Wei Xing Yu, and she already see that. Nanfeng, Miss Ji, what's wrong with you? Well, it's clearly she can see right now that Jin Nanfeng is really close to Wei Xing Yu, and Wei Xing Yu, she is not refusing it. But suddenly, Wei Xing Yu see Ji Xiao. She was standing on the front door, and Wei Xing Yu noticed her. Look at her, she looks really excited. But what about Chin Nanfeng? Since the two of them are already talking. Turns out Chi Xiao, right now, he look really glim. Wei Xing Yu and Jin Nanfeng. She is thinking about the two. It was clearly to her eyes that seeing Nanfeng closer to Wei Xing Yu, even touching her face. Of course, she was really jealous right now. To the point that she suddenly turned back and wants to run away. Look at her. It looks like she looks really sad. She really wants to see Wei Xing Yu. But right now, seeing the two of them, of course, she may feel really heartbroken. Seeing these two, it's make her feel sad. On her mind right now, it really matches well. She shall. She feels that Wei Xing Yu and Jin Nanpeng are meant to be each other. That's why right now, she don't want to be a hindrance. She quietly walk away from the crowd. Look at her. Is she really crying right now? While she was running away, she is wiping her tears. Well, this is really sad for her, and she can't take it anymore. But seeing Ji Xiao running away like that, right now Wei Xing Yu, she feels agitated. And that's make Nan Feng to really worried about her. Ji Xiao, this is not what you see. Well, it was clearly to Ji Xiao, but for her, of course, she really needs to explain this. Right now, Nanfeng, whisper, come here quickly. Well, did she really wants to calm Wei Xing Yu right now? Nanfeng, she really moves closer to her. But right now, it turns out it was Uncle Chen who moves closer to her. Uncle Chen, I have something that I need to tell you. Right now? Oh, is she going to tell Uncle Chen? That she really likes Ji Xiao, that she don't want anyone except for Ji Xiao. No matter what happens to you, put it aside first. I'll take you to meet Mr. Wu. Right now, Uncle Chen, she really wants to help Wei Xing Yu, or she will be the hindrance to both of them. Well, let's see then. Let's hope he has a good intentions for her. Wei Xing Yu, she looks really sad. On the other hand, she answered Uncle Chen and said, I knew. Look at her. Even though she looks feel sad, of course, she need to finish first her business before approaching Ji Xiao. That's why, right now, she was walking beside Uncle Chen and she's still looking around. Probably she want to find Ji Xiao. But since Ji Xiao runs away too fast, she can see it. Where did she go? Well, what about Nanfeng? She suddenly vanished away. Although the two of them are speaking, suddenly, she ran away past also. It was me who out on my own initiative and gave her to someone else. Oh, right now, Ji Xiao, she was really sulking. Under the moon, she was staring outside the venue. In the fountain fund, look at her. She feels alone, and she was thinking, what's happening right now? Well, 
she must really confuse that how Jin and Feng and Wei Xing Yu are really close to each other. But right now, now everything is back to social diner of the hero and heroine in the book. I should be happy. Well, it's according to the book, as per Jisho said. But right now, she feels so empty. Even though she really likes Wei Xing Yu, but she gave her way for Jin Nan Feng, right? Well, it was really on her mind right now. She was really crying alone. And she should say to herself that I should be happy. Well, let's really hope for this, that she will be happy. Well, of course, together with Wei Xing Yu, not for Jin Nan Feng and Wei Xing Yu, as she is thinking right now. Of course, right now, she see the two of them. And she is really jealous. That's why she was talking to the point that she was really jealous. But right now, what can she do? Only she can think is on the book that Wei Xing Yu and Jin Nan Feng will be really happy together. What should I do? They are happy. Well, right now, she really feels sad. On her eyes, she can see Wei Xing Yu and Jin Nan Feng are really happy to each other. But it's not what you think. The two of them are only talking. And right now, Nan Feng, it turns out she went outside also just to follow her. That's why she is not with Wei Xing Yu. Right now, Nan Feng was calling Ji Xiao. She moved closer to her. Jin Nan Feng said to her, It turns out, you are hiding here. Well, did she really mean it? That Nan Feng, he really wants to find her. That's why she came out to the venue also, just to look for her. Because she wants to help Wei Xing Yu. But looking at Chi Xiao, it is okay for me to be here. She was telling Nan Feng. Jin Nan Feng, she was hiding. Probably she knows Chi Xiao is get jealous. Seeing himself with Wei Xing Yu. Well, look at them. But Nan Feng said to her, Yes, of course. Well, probably. She has a good motive. That's why she want to follow her. Tell her that Wei Xing Yu is a little bit busy. But right now, the two of them must talk. Well, for Nan Feng, look at him. She seems to be hesitating. She wants to tell her more, but also she is pausing herself. Nan Feng said, but she suddenly paused. Looking at her eyes, he really looks serious. Well, what could it be? It turns out, right now, we seeing you. Approaching the two of them, well, it was really good that we seeing you also follow them, so the two of them can talk. As for Jin Nan Feng, she told to Wei Xing Yu that Chi Xiao is looking for her. Right now, Nan Feng said, Okay guys, you can chat, I'm going back first. Oh, Nan Feng, she was really a gentleman. Even though she didn't know that the two of them are together. Right now, Jin Nan Feng, she moves away from them and looking for Chi Xiao. Wei Xing Yu, she was approaching Ji Xiao right now and asked her, Why are you? Well, she suddenly paused. Why are you here alone? Well, for Ji Xiao, I want to explain what just happened. At that time, I had a broken diamond ha hanging in my hair. I couldn't take it off myself after doing it for a long time, so she came to help me. Oh, it turns out it was really a good reason, but for Wei Xing Yu, she really wants to explain her. So there's no misunderstanding for them. Right now, the two of them are looking at each other. Well, it was really good. At least, both of them really knows what happened. In Ji Xiao, it seems that she already have calmed herself. Hey guys, there's a part two. Just wait for it for a little. Thanks for supporting me. Ways to support this channel. To support me to buy the Manhua Raws in official sites. 1. 
You can support me on buying Super Thanks here. The button is below https www.youtube.com earn Sylvia Astingray. 2. You can directly support me on Ko-fi. The link is https dice ko fi.com Sylvia Stingray.